Huh? Huh? I hear shouts from over there. What the fuck was that? Over there. Oh, that's okay. It's been dangerous lately w with fuck. Fuck, that's a weird line. Uh, <laughs> oh, I just like went way too far back. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Fuck, I'm just gonna delete this one. <laughs> <laughs> and I just restart from the fucking beginning. That was bad. Cool. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> so, are you gonna do... Oh my god, are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? What's up, man? Thank you for helping. You're very tough. I was sure impressed. Well, this is the place. Sweet crib. <laughs> You know, just like the fissure Caterpie fell into. What? That was weird. That was a weird reading. Sit a quill with you. We could be the best. Uh. <laughs> what say you? Perfect. That's it then. We're partners in our rescue team from now on, Cinequil. Glad to fucking that went by too quick. <laughs> so, Cinequil, what do you think would be a good name for us? Do you want to name your team Pokemon? <laughs> Pokemon Team Base. <clears throat> Wait, they're the go getters. Oh, yeah. Go get that ass. <laughs> Uh, ignore me. <laughs> Rescue team go getters. Let's do good. Fuck. Fucking what was that? What the fuck was that, bitch? Uh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. And that is how Cinequil and Maggie be a little bit together. As I wreck your team! <laughs> Title screen! That's the end of that, right? To 27? Um, yeah, so I'm not gonna... Let's gonna be one thing. Uh, let's do that. Let's do this. this. So these aren't... I knew it'd be here! It's the Rescue Team Starter Set! Now available at Toys R Us! <laughs> okay, I'll restart <laughs> Does not sound like a, like a toy set? The, re the Rescue Team Starter Set! Now available at Toys R Us! <laughs> and finally, a copy of Pokemon News! Fuck, I did not... Stuff up until like the bash thing. <laughs> yes! There's some good things in here. Flap, flap. <laughs> Plunk. <laughs> oh? I wonder what it could be. Flap, flap. <laughs> oh, doesn't talk at all there. Just a bunch of silence at the end, because I didn't know if, she, if they talked at the end of that. Okay. I think that's all there is at this <sighs> Wait for all the fucking Magnemite talking. I'm glad our mish- Fuck. <laughs> I forgot rescue. Good morning, Cinequil. Aren't you up early? Oh! So you checked the mailbox. So was there anything? Were there any rescue requests? Fuck. 
Sorry, I'm saying fuck a lot when I mess up. One sec, I have to... I'd have to restart that because I could hear the cat whining in the background. <laughs> I, I might just redo some more of that. Oh, I don't talk during this part. <laughs> I'll just make sure. Oh. Here we are. Mount Steel. So Dicklet was whisked to this peak. Nope. <laughs> oh, Gengar, you sneaky bitch. <laughs> Team meanies. <laughs> We're good, we've, we're great at names. We're so good at names. Us, the team meanies. C Caterpie doesn't have like an obligation to join you. <laughs> like it's not like a contract. You're just like, yeah, and you can also like join us. It's not how that works. <laughs> cool. <laughs> every time, every time Caterpie says cool, I just imagine like, Cool. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> that would be great. Chase that dream. Chase that paper, son. <laughs> That's right. Huh? Wait, aren't you? From yesterday. <gasps> oh my gosh. <sighs> From that shift tree. What an asshole, am I right, guys? <laughs> I remember now. Jumplepuff. Jumplepuff? Is that <laughs> his name? What's his name? Jumpluff. <laughs> Jumplepluff. And Sif Shiftry. Fuck. Uh, these aren't names that I, like, say a lot in terms of, like, Pokemon names that I know. I remember now. Jumplepuff. Jumplepuff? I keep fucking saying. Okay, I jump pluff, jump pluff, jump pluff, jump pluff, shift tree. That one's not hard, but jump pluff is apparently. Okay. <laughs> Fucking hell. Wow, this cliff. Cliff? <laughs> this cliff is steep. This cliff is steep. <laughs> Wow, this cliff is- oh, cliff? Why do I keep doing that? I can say cliff. I can, I promise you. It's a word I know. Wow, this cliff is- cliff is- I- I'm saying cliff, but with the fucking voice it sounds like cliff. Wow, this cliff is steep. I just- I gotta fucking- <gasps> I have to pause and like work that out on my own. How am I fucking <laughs> doing this? Oh. Okay, I figured it out. <laughs> I'm back. <clears throat> Get some water in my mouth. <laughs> I got some water in my mouth and then also on my fucking shirt. Oh fuck. <laughs> I'm wet now. <laughs> I'm wet. Oh, there's water all on me. I blame. I can only blame myself. Put that in bloopers, huh? <laughs> oh, fuck. Jeez. Okay. <laughs> Your friend jump- I keep wanting to say jump up love. This is the worst. <laughs> this is the absolute worst. Oh my gosh. Oh, I hate- I hate your name. I hate it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> your friend jump love is lost in deep in- Fuck. If I don't fuck up jump love, I fuck up some other fucking thing. Uh <laughs> Shh. Oh, and now the cat's meowing. 
This is the worst. This is this is the worst take. <laughs> I got all wet. I can't say jumble pluff properly. Yes, I know that wasn't correct. I know. <laughs> I know the cat's meowing. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, why do they do this to me? Why did why does the cat Meow at the worst fucking time to meow. That monster that said it was Zapdos. Did you? Did somebody say Zapdos? <laughs> Alakazam! Shazam! <laughs> Besides, Zapdos doesn't scare us. Right, Cinequil? Ow, 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 my stomach. <laughs> Please tell me you picked that. Yeah! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! Can't go! <laughs> Yo, have y'all seen fucking Gengar and Detective Pikachu? Holy shit! That shit creepy! <laughs> and accurate! <laughs> Morning, Cinequil. It's early. Yeah. It's early. It's early. It's early. It's early. <laughs> Yep, looks like we're ready. From now on, we're fugitives. Fuck. Why was that so funny? From now on, we're fugitives. <laughs> Just like a little tiny mud cap. Like, like it was like a baby child. Be like, now we're fugitives. Caterpie and Metapod too. Oh, and Evil. <laughs> Shit, I was gonna do it again. I was gonna say Jumble Pluff or whatever the fuck. I keep saying, instead of the real name, fucking, <laughs> why is it so hard? Gruel and Arjun's journey is a fugitive. <laughs> ah! Oh, why is that so fucking funny? Mount Blaze it. <laughs> oh. It's very unfortunate. <laughs> All you chicken shits can stay behind <laughs> if you're not brave enough to... <laughs> Oh my gosh. Anyway. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. What the fuck is that? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to do that. Why did I make that sound? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah, Fuck. Ah, ah. Oh shit, there's lightning. There's lightning. There's lightning. There's lightning. That's thunder. No. <laughs> no. Fucking hell. God damn it. Fucking shit balls. What a fucking die. I ruined everything. <laughs> anyway, we agreed to let Alakazam deal with Kro. I was about to say Kyogre. That's the opposite fucking Pokemon. If you would help us with the building of a rescue team base, we could give you this peeled chestnut. What a fair deal. How did that sound? Totally fair. This one chestnut for the three of you if you build me my special base. <laughs> really? You'll help us. I don't think the Menke gang will work unless we get them another peeled chestnut to share among the three of them. I guess we'll have to give the Mankey gang any peeled chestnuts that we find. I should do that again because I'm an asshole. You just said the fucking a random line. Alakazam's fucking dead. <laughs> I literally, we literally beat mythical Pokemon and you're like, you're not strong enough though. Like, that Articuna didn't count. <laughs> like, don't even... Don't even think about it. Oh, but Blastoise's team, who's fought none mythical fucking Pokemon. Sure, they could handle it. I'm not gonna stop them. <laughs> oh, he's a water type, so he's good against ground. What the fuck does that make me, huh? <laughs> Fuck me, I guess. <laughs> <coughs> Take a sip, Jesus Christ. <coughs> yeah.
getting very upset about this. <laughs> Don't they realize we're the main characters? <coughs> this is a long conversation. I really hope I'm not missing any any dialogue that's supposed to be mine. Alright. <laughs> Smeargles. Smeargle? Smeargle. Always weird when you see it like right now. It's so like, hey, Cynical, can you read? <laughs> can you read it? Huh? It's like the TV telling me, are you sure it's connected? That's what the TV does at my house here. It mocks me. <laughs> Grow up and get a real job, Smeargle. You think you can live your life just like an artist? I wouldn't know. <laughs> Be an adult, Smeargle. <laughs> oh, shit. Bye. Fuck. <laughs> oh, that's supposed to happen. It's just like... <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Anytime I've seen these, they're just like, okay, that's it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We Star Trek teleporter out of there, fuck. I can't live with anything so Ah, he's a true connoisseur, I see. <laughs> I thought this was just like a, I don't want it to touch me, but it's a, no, it's not high art enough. <laughs> fuck. I'll just join Cynical's team then. Fuck Breed and the Doll. <laughs> This is like running away to the circus when when your mom wants when your parents want you to be a doctor. Like that's what this is, but in Smeargle's universe. <laughs> well, I guess that's it. <laughs> he he really just wants to crash at our place and eat Cheetos while well, he does his art and thinks his art will pay the bills. That's what <laughs> But he doesn't actually sell his art, he just like makes it a lot of it. Like, <laughs> I could I could make art artists uh, job jokes because that is my life. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he like draw he like look look at my art and he draws something, and and it like looks like absolute shit, right? <laughs> and then like they're like oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> I could be your artist. Oh, um, no. No, I think we're good. <laughs> you know what? I think, I think, like, uh, if you could, you could do anything but the art, that's fine. Not to say that your art is bad. Just saying, um, just saying, yeah, uh, there's lots of things to do. That's it. Just lots of things to do. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Let's see that again. I was really distracted by that plot line. <laughs> oh, it turns out we 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 couldn't beat Groudon. Oh, if only somebody knew before that we couldn't beat Groudon. <laughs> Perhaps somebody sitting recording lines for a little water Pokemon. Who knows? <laughs> Just say it. <laughs> oh my god, cat. Cat, are you serious? This is not the time. <sighs> I have to let her in. I have to let her in or she won't shut up. She won't shut up if I don't let her in. What? I'm going to put you up against the mic again. I will. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll, I'll bring you over. And you won't like it. Yeah. Listen. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Is 
just gonna stop this. <laughs> Wait, am I in the same? I'm fucking not. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, so then I just skip to the next one. Swish Cash, Tyler Trio, me. Okay. Okay. My B. Is that it for me? <laughs> oh, it is. That was a very short one. That's in a quilt. It's a cool dream. I'll just redo that because I didn't feel good about it <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry if that hurt your ears. <laughs> what happened to Alakazam? Where is Alakazam? Fucking dead. <laughs> I thought I said still balling. <laughs> Cynical, we've got... <laughs> sorry. I shouldn't go through straight a line after laughing like that. I swear to God, that fucking cat. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, meteors. Always ruining everything. Only with the power of friendship can it be stopped. <laughs> if that will bring peace, I'll gladly give my life for it. Fucking cat. Fucking cat. I swear to God. Fucking damn. <laughs> I'm at the end of this and you won't shut up. <laughs> I'm so zen right now. Because we've won peace. <laughs> Did somebody say one piece? You can hear Midnight yelling from the distance. <laughs> Santa Quill! No! <laughs> no! Come back, you bitch! <laughs> that is why we must call upon you for help, Santa Quill. That. Mm. <clears throat> Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, so I, uh, blah, blah. Please, we need your help. We must go. My planet needs me. There's an odd flow to that conversation. Never actually played this game. This is an experience. Dub Trio's kind of a shit dad, isn't he? <laughs> Holy fuck, Diglett has feet? <laughs> Son, you are a moron. Don't ever forget that. Well, our son, tell me. Oh, jeez, that went by so fast. It went by so fast. What do you think, son? Isn't the sea wonderful? Can I sw- No. Jesus, man. Of course! What do you take us for? Well, our son, tell me. Do the earthquakes frighten you? Well, get over it! Of course. Have you seen him? Jesus, what do you take us for? If we were in charge, this is what we do to the magma cavern. Ha! Ha! Bye! Papa yeeted the hell out of there, man. Wait, is he just gone? Seriously? Holy crap! Doug Trio, what the shit, dude? Can't just leave your kid. Okay, so that's it. <clears throat> so man, I'm not gonna bother making excuses. I'm really sorry this took so long. It, it's, I don't, it's dumb. It's just dumb of me, so, you know, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm really impressed with the amount of work that you put into these things. It's way more than I ever did, and I felt like I put in a decent amount of work, so good job, man. Really, really happy to see you still trucking along. Uh, I'm going to cut out a little bit of the dead space uh, where I was trying to find the scenes. And I think I hit all of them, but let me know if I'm missing anything. Appreciate you having me on for this. Sorry again. I'm kind of a piece of shit. Yeah. I'm scared. <laughs> I, I'm scared. Fuck, I missed the sex. <laughs> Go back. <laughs> For whatever reason, Diglett talks instead of Doug Trio. Uh, uh, hey there, Midnight. I'm gonna record those lines that you had asked me to do a while back and I hadn't done. Because just, oof. 
it's really hard for me to set aside time when Mike isn't awake and when I'm home and that I can actually do stuff. So I'm going to try and record these <coughs> lines while I'm choking and hacking up my lungs. Uh, so I'm going to make sure I, I try and I'm not sure exactly what kind of, of like, like, I know you said that she's, she probably has an overly cheery voice. So I'm going to try my <laughs> best, but let's hope that it turns out okay. Okay. <clears throat> I sell friend areas to add members to your res res fucking shit. God damn it! I can do my lines! <clears throat> oh god, I don't even know how I'd, I'd sing this. Oh my lord. Wiggly mm, mm. tough, wiggly tough, let's be friends, ta! Because it's not, it can't, or I can do it with the tone of Jigglypuff, which is wiggly tough, wiggly tough. Let's be friends, stop. I mean, you tell me if you want me to do something instead, but I'm I'm just going to offer those two first. Okay. How do you recruit members? Well, you're, you're, if you can read your lines, it'll turn out okay. Sometimes they'll come to admire you as a friend. In that case, they may ask to join your team. Just keep trying. Or at some point, you'll just knock them dead. There's a sign on the path to the left of your rescue team. Bait. Fuck. Ooh, that's a weird line. All right. Mm. There's a sign to the path to the left of your rescue team base, so you shouldn't have any trouble. That's all the get fucking shit of fucking them! I just peeked my mic like crazy. <laughs> Holy shit, I just looked over my recording. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm gonna... Listen back and maybe record, depending on how horrid it sounds. But if it turns out okay, I'm going to send it over to you. So I hope you like it. And I'm happy that you, uh, you entrusted me to voice act Wigglytuff of all characters. So uh, thank you again, Jeffrey, and have a good day. All right, Midnight, this is my second attempt at this, because uh, I have to actually, I had to redo this. <clears throat> because uh, my first time, I kept peeking my mic a little too much, and it kind of kept coming out as popping sound on, on the actual recording. So I'm gonna, I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna, you know, refer to, you know, this one is the second attempt at it, and the first attempt, you can decide between them which one you like more, you know, all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to retry my lines, and hopefully they sound better, if not good. But first, I'm going to drink some water, because I'm kind of dying. I am dying. Okay. <clears throat> friends are my treasure. Welcome to the Wiggly Top Club. A circle of friends. Mm, I can do that better. I can, I can do <laughs> that better. I'm going to... I have to tilt my microphone a little bit. All right, all right. Have I my Okay. Ah. Ah, my head is itchy. My head is itchy. My head. This is a bad time for an itchy head. Okay. Okay. Just keep trying. Just keep trying, just keep trying, just keep trying to make friends do ba do ba do. Okay, gotcha. Ow. Oh god, I got like a thing stuck in my throat. Alright. You can go to your friend areas by taking the left path from your rest fucking shit! You can do it by not fucking up your lines, maybe. Whew! I can do it. I'm good at this. <laughs> Alright. I, this is my second attempt. Hopefully it's better than my first attempt in some aspects, or maybe you like things from my first attempt more. But I figured I should do two attempts, because the first time I peeked my mic a bunch and I heard the crackling and popping and it sounded terrible. Anyways, Jeffrey, thank you again for this opportunity. Hopefully people like me fucking up my lines. Alrighty. This is Colleen, and I will be recording for Jump Love for Mystery Dungeon. Please help my friend. Please, I need a 
Oh God, no. Okay, don't use that one. That was just bad. All right, let's let us let us play around with this a little bit. Gengar, what you gonna do? What you gonna do, bruh? Okay, so it's saying that please help my friend from earlier. Can you just reuse it? <laughs> please just reuse it. I don't want to do this again. Shift reuse. Shift reuse. Shift re Shift re All right, so this is a different jump bluff. So I'm going to do a different voice. Yes, I'm fine, but no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> all right, all right. Front row. Zapdos. <gasps> Did you just murder him? Oh. I was about to be like, holy cow! I was about to say, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon's brutal! Oh great, I don't know which one's which. Shiftry whipped up wings with his fan. Oh my god, this is so hard to say! Shiftry whipped up... Shiftry whipped up wings with his fans. Alakazam. Yeah, he just straight up murdered Shiftry. You tell him, Zapdos. Let's go. Its electrical attacks are wicked nasty. I mean, it should he shouldn't scare Mudkip. Isn't water good against lightning, or is it the other way around? I don't remember. You're get I'm um, I'm like watching this as if you know the context. You probably do, but eh. Alright, do any of my my girly girls got any more lines? Let us find success. All right, we're good here. Oh God, there's a lot of speaking in this one. Where am I? There I am. Okay. I'm listening to World of Warcraft music in the background, and it's really making this very epic. We have to escape, but Alec is in at that time. Where am I? Where am I in this? Alright. Run until you uncover the truth. You're a Cyndaquil. That's who you are. How inspiring, Cyndaquil. Is that me? I'm going to say that it wasn't me. I'm going to say that it wasn't me. Good morning. It's me, Bigelet. I wanted to send you off, too. <laughs> hey, it's a fatty bird. Want. Okay, bye. I have a feeling this is my only line in here. Aw. Pelipper. Aw, oh, Mucket, don't cry. Thus begins the Quill's quest. Robert Tarber Derber. Okay. Eleven. <laughs> Mudkip. Just Mudkip. Poor little Mudkip. Talking to himself. Am I done? Oh wow. Nobody in 19. Yeah. <laughs> wow, Mudkit gets to take a break for once. Good on him. You go, Mudkit. Take your break. Filler? I just met her. Oh shit. I skipped 23. I'm not in there anyway. I don't think I'm in any of these. I think I might be done. So I'm just gonna check. Hey, I'm in this one. Man, I really need to go to the bathroom. Hey, you're with all your buddies. Ow. I drank my drink and it like hurt my tooth. Ha. Ah. I need to go back to the dentist. I didn't miss my line. Hang on. Because I 
close my eyes for a second. Okay, I didn't miss anything. Where's my line? What about the star? Zatu, are you throwing up? What the fuck was that? Are you okay? The disaster shall soon be called. Cool. We won peace! Yay! Look at all the places that you went to that I didn't actually see. Because I just went through the, the descriptions. This is the greatest. This calls for a celebration. You know, we shoot my hydro pump to kick it off. Don't point those things at me. Where's my line? Where's my line? You were about to murder this Pokemon. Actually, wait, no. Leaf is fine for water. That's fine. <laughs> I, uh, let me. This might be something that you need for me, so let me just do it just in case. <laughs> Shadow's probably looking at the door like, what the fuck? <laughs> I, can, I physically can't laugh with this high pitched voice. I can't. I'm sorry. I I I can't. I, hopefully, every other laugh will overshadow mine, so nobody hears it. Au revoir. Oh my gosh, I really need to use the restroom. Five more minutes. You can do this. Just need to find my line. My need to find my line. Your role here has ended. Oh, your own world. Okay. Aww. This scene is so sad. Sad. I'm so very sorry. This is goodbye. Goodbye, Cynic. Oh, oh, I got a line. No, my line. I missed my line. Dang it. Okay. Here we go. The moment of truth. My line. Goodbye, my friend. You had plenty of time to say thanks, Shiftry. Lombre. 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 Is that you? Do you have an explanation for him? There it is. Alright, is that it? That's it! That's a wrap, boys! Boom! Last line. Stick the quill! I did it. We're good. All right. If you need anything else from me, let me know. I got you, friend. You have a good one. Toodles. Knowing how strong our opponent is, we... <laughs> Fine. We're off to quell Groudon. Good lord, do you think that scene was long enough? Holy crap, game. Hmm. So it's you. Stay back. This opponent is no laughing matter. Here it comes. Train! Rawr! Train! Anytime you want to stop there. It is almost ready. The teleport gem. You got a thing! We are counting on you. Mudkip. Cyndaquil. And Absol, I guess you're there too. Sure. Huh? That scene there? Jump up sp- <laughs> I swear I can talk properly.
Wow, what was what's wrong? More like what's wrong with me? What's wrong with me is that I can't say a line. There's just all these Pokemon around me are talking perfect English, and me too. I don't understand. None of them are even detectives. I haven't even seen a single Pikachu. Who the heck is Ryan Reynolds? I've only seen one bit of dialogue from him and I already don't like Gengar. He's got that kick 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 He's up to something. You know what? He just looks evil. It might just be his face, but he looks evil. Very, very evil. Shocking stuff? More shocking than Gengar's face? A, a human? Who, who, who's a human? Certainly not me, Cyndaquil. Cyndaquil is the least human-like of all of us. Wait, hey, come back, I just wanted to hug. Not if I can help it. <laughs> 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 that wasn't right. <laughs> Not if I can help it. <laughs> eh. His laugh. His laugh. Okay. Take a drink. Ow, wow, 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 wow. <laughs> what the heck was that? Wow. <laughs> But mom, he threw a rock at me. Okay, no. Let's go back. Back, 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 back. Back, back. Ow, wow, 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 wow. How do I, oh my God, how am I gonna do that? <laughs> what do I do? Yo, 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 ow, 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 ow. Okay, so I think that. Midnight. Midnight. What have you done to me? You're giving me Gengar when everything he does starts with <laughs> His laugh is impossible. I'm gonna lose my voice in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Gore. Gengar. Gore. It's Gengar. <laughs> Yuck. There's more. Zatu told the human that how the human became a Pokemon has a lot to do with the world's balance is upset. No! I missed the word. Oh, God. <laughs> you lie. Keke, 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 keke. Oh, my gosh. Keke, keke. Keke, 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 keke. Keke. What the hell? How do you do that? Heck, what the heckles? Keke, confused. Keke, 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 keke. You keke. What is that line? What? What is that? Ugege, 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 ugege. I think that's it. What? Oh. Oh my god. Okay. Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure. What? What do 
I do for this? How long does it last? Let's let me let me see this. Oh my god. What is this? What is this line? Hey Tom, just make a bunch of monkey noises. Do your best evil laugh for Gengar 3,000 times. <laughs> okay. Back to the lines. Oh my gosh. Uh, how do you like Dream Eater? How do you like Snake Eater? Isn't it great? What a thrill! Sorry, I'll uh... Okay, yeah. Okay. So. <laughs> Sorry for the silence for like two minutes. I, uh, I was zooming through the video to make sure I didn't have any like secret lines. Wait, is there something after the credits? The credits just started. Hold on. Oh no! <laughs> Double check yet again. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. Yeah. That's it. So, uh, thanks, Midnight, for having me on the project. It was a lot of fun. Uh, Gengar was a very interesting character to try and voice. I appreciate it. Um, I hope your project turns out well, man. This is this seems like a really interesting, a really interesting playthrough and a very interesting project. So I'm happy to be a part of it. Uh, thank you very much. And. Uh, yeah, just <laughs> I hope <laughs> I hope it, uh, the lines and everything works for you because that was <laughs> that was a trial to try and do, <laughs> especially the ah, get, 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 get. oh my gosh, and I feel like the voice Gengar's voice got deeper the more I kept doing it, just because of how like scratched my throat would get from the uh, the <laughs> <laughs> but um. Yeah, sorry the uh, sorry it took me a while to to get back to you with the lines, but appreciate ha you having me on your project, and I uh, hope it goes well for you, man. Thank you. Take care. Enough of your foolish talk. Prepare to. Absol. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> that was the question. <laughs> Absol. <laughs> so stupid. <stinging>. Absol. <laughs> Uh, Absol. Man, that's so hard. Uh. <coughs> How did, what what's a Pokemon? What is a Pokemon? What is a Pokemon? How do you how do you feel like a Pokemon when you're a Pokemon? How do you get in the headspace of a Pokemon? I know one move. Harden. My name's Metapod. I'm a Metapod. Hello. What does a Metapod sound like to you? Metapod. <laughs> Metapod. Hello, Metapod. I'm a Metapod. This is episode six. What are my lines? I was scared, so I kept my shell hardened and waited and waited. Thank you. What a stupid fucking line. <laughs> I'm a child. My name's Metapod. I mean, tricks, shapes, because they're back. It makes me feel like a child to get in the brain of this child. Ah, professional. Me too, me too. <laughs> How annoying should that be? You work with children. Fuck, I don't know. It depends on what kind of annoying. 
not mean to the kid. Just it, way too excited. The kid that's trying to be nice. Yeah, a kid that's like really trying to be nice, but you're still super annoyed with them. Yeah. Whatever, that works. I knew my best friend Cinderquill couldn't be evil. <laughs> I'll do my best to harden myself. <laughs> yeah. This is the whole reason Midnight asked me to voice this character. And that's the last line you ever hear from this character ever again. Thanks, Midnight. It's a great line to end on. You're the best. Love you. Yes, we're filled with gratitude. This is our thanks. It's a nut. Good morning, Cinderquill. Flat, flat. Palabar. Palabar. Well, it is still a mere rumor. I wouldn't put too much stock on that story if I were you. Personally, I don't believe in rumors. Bloody! <laughs> Why? I messed it up. No! <laughs> but it is still a mere... Mm. <laughs> Why is this line so hard? It's this, this is not a hard line. Why? Oh! What was that? Oh! That sounded so weird! <laughs> That was such a weird, that was such a weird, oh, it was like, oh, <laughs> what am I even doing? What is my life? What am, what, why? <laughs> oh, it's Alakazam. That did not sound nearly as excited as it probably should have. <laughs> Why am I having so much trouble emoting with these lines? This is so... <laughs> okay, let's try this again. That's Alakazam? Why did that... Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Try this again. Mm. Shake it out. Shake it off. Shake it off. Let's do this again. C cool. No! No, that was not cool! <laughs> Why <are you> really? <sighs> okay. I wouldn't expect less from a gold rank rescue team. Why did my lisp, like, want to act up on that one? <sighs> okay, let's try this again. I wouldn't expect less from a gold rank rescue team. Why did my, why did that last word decide that it was just going to go up like half an octave? Oh. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, let's try this again. Hello, this is SickBOT1 voicing the role of Pelipper for Jeffrey's m Monster Hunter. Let's play. I don't know where I got Monster Hunter from, but uh I'm going to voice the Pelipper. Apparently, I don't have that many lines, but that'll be all right. So, in this one for video, I know it's this line. Diglett is here. Oh, uh, uh, there's Pelipper. <laughs> flap, flap. <laughs> What's my line? Clunk! Okay, here's a letter I guess I have to read. So, um,. I hope you like the voice I gave him, because...
because uh, wacky voices are kind of what I do, I guess, whenever I'm employed to do that. Yep. Pelipper has your back, Mudkip. Pelipper has your back. <laughs> and then there's another in... Wait, where the... Okay. Tweet deck just froze on me. Um, 10 and 16. 10 and 16. I'll move on to 16 now. Probably still not that many. <laughs> of course, if I were to do more voice acting across all of the episodes, it'd be more like flap, flap, clunk. Flap, flap, clunk. Those are lines. Those are lines. Those are those are what you call lines. Um. Pelipper. Pelipper is not marked. Well, Pelipper is in the description, but it is not marked. So let me just skim through the video, see if I can see where Pelipper comes into play. That's okay. Let me just. <laughs> These are going to be very interesting outtakes when you eventually upload them. I hope they're they're going to be very very interesting. Probably shouldn't even use the whole thing. I wouldn't blame you if you didn't use the whole thing. Okay, okay, we're outside of the base, so. Oh, there, yep, there, there he is. There he is. <laughs> There he is. This is very interesting commentary. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Jeff. I'm really sorry. What do we got? Oh, no, no lines? Pelipper is bringing us mail already. Um, is it another letter from him? From, I don't know what the gender of the... I don't know if it's even important. Oh, no, it's... Le letter from Pelipper. Okay. Right? Letter from Pelipper? Jeff, are you gonna read the letter from Pelipper? Jeff, please, I need lines. I need to. I need to. I need to read. Here it is. Okay, that was a little. I was trying to figure out what voice I was doing. I think I'm doing Monokuma, kind of. Uh, yeah, that's. I'm sorry. I turned into Monokuma for you. That's. That's. I guess that's what on. What's on my brain? If you don't like that, you can tell me to try something else, and I will definitely try something else. I mean, we have time, and there are people stomping upstairs, God. Um, okay, one more read of that letter. Yo, amigo, it's awesome you're back. I'll be... I mean, I'm actually going to wait for the stomping to stop. That is a problem in my apartment, and I have no idea who is causing it. <laughs> Maybe that's not Monokuma. Maybe that's some bastardization of some other cheesy voice. I'm, I'm sorry. Again, if you don't like it, uh, just let me know, and I'll try something else. Thank you for the opportunity to be in another one of your Let's Plays. I actually really enjoy it when I get to voice act for you. And take care. I don't know if I voice the other Smeargles, so I'm just going to. Okay, here's scene... whatever. The first scene. Mystery Dungeon Episode 7 at around the 19 minute mark. <laughs> In this episode, Mudkip. Just Mudkip. Poor little Mudkip. I'm sorry. That was... <laughs> Mess him up! That's a great face Ninetales, uh, the Alex Zam's making. I forgot about that. Cyndaquil is not the father! I really shouldn't be giving commentary, I'm sorry. A little Mudkip oofing around. I'm sorry, I'm making your job harder, Jeffrey. I'll close my window. Gosh. Failure, I just met her. <sighs> if only there were Pokemon who could fly. Shut up, birds. And then Lombre died. <laughs> Sidney Quill still owed me five bucks. And then he died. And never came back. Not even for the post game. Anyway, those are my lines. <laughs> oh god, that was a half hour. Uh, let me know. Uh, going through this, if it's good enough. Uh, thank you, Jeffrey, for the opportunity. Tarantar is always the best. Now, now.
it was the only thing to do. And I'll, I'll both, oh, mm. crap. I'll be resting up in the power plant front area. If you want me to along the, 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 the. Huh? Did you bring us a peeled chestnut? Oh, a chestnut! Oh, I guess you just want, you're just gonna repeat it. Cause it's gonna keep repeating. I'll just wait here. Hey, Midnight, how's it going? You're my good friend. Stay strong. Love you. I don't know. Just a little something hidden in the middle. This is weird. Ah, oh, shit. Let's go. What's up, man? It's your favorite guy who's always late with his lines. This time wasn't out of laziness. This time it was because I stinking couldn't settle on a voice for this guy. I'm still not 100% happy with what I came up with. I'm going to go for, like, wise old man, but not, like, stupid old. Not like, ah, oh, yes, back in my day, Sonny, but kind of more like... You know, someone in, like, their 60s or 70s or something like that. You know, not totally decrepit. Zatu seems to be a little more spry. He could probably still play a game of backyard wiffle ball if he had to. He'd probably kick the crap out of Syndical, too. I don't know. Um, that's neither here nor there. Um, so, I, I spent a long time. I've done a few takes now, and I, I hated them all. So, I'm going to go with this one. I think I finally found a voice that I'm okay with um, that I can do. And that, uh, I think, does the character justice. So I apologize it took me so long. Um, from what I went through, I, I looked at every single video, scrubbed it through. Um, I've got four different videos that Zatu is in. That's part 9, part 25, part 26, and part 28. If I miss anything, please let me know. Um, that being said, I'm going out of town for a week, so you're going to have to wait. Um, but... Uh, I think I have them all. I've, I've scrubbed through everything. I, I watched it all. Um, I think I have everything uh, laid out just fine. There's a couple of scenes where Zatu does like his cry and it picks up in the game. Like there's game audio for him doing it. It's like, Wah! or something like that. Um, I'll give you one take of that just in case you want to use mine instead of his. I don't know what your plan is with that because it's kind of quiet. So I didn't want to like screw with anything uh, i'm not gonna be hurt at all if you don't use it though because the the pre-recorded pokemon cry is probably better than anything i could come up with um yeah. sorry my mom's texting me i'm just gonna put my phone away um but yeah that's that that burp was free too you can use that wherever the heck you want that's royalty free um so yeah without any further ado I'm gonna get started on this, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna go through. I'm gonna start on part nine, which is this one. No, nine is this tab. Cool. Let's start on part nine, about 22, 22 minutes in, where Mudkip is friggin' tickling Zatu. So here we go. Um, oh, sorry. Prior to this, Zatu doesn't. He has quote unquote lines where it's just a bunch of dots. Um. I assume that means silence, so I wasn't really going to do anything for that, but if you want just generic, like, meditating noises or something like that, I could I could go back and give you something if you want, but silence, I think, is what the, the game was trying to go for, so, but you, you let me know what you need. So here we go, I'm going to pick it up here, from, from Mudkip tickling my big self. Let me get into character real quick. Right, here we go. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Gaspy gasps. I'm reading from Mudkip, too. It's no good, Sandy Quill. He's not responding. Is he just dense? Qua! Zatu, you can tell, can't you? Please tell us. Dot, dot, dot. They are core because... Oh, gosh. They are core? You friggin' kidding me? Let me take that line again. They occur because the world's balance is upset. And now occur sounds weird. One more time. They're related, question mark? What do you mean? Why does Syndical have to do with the natural disasters we've been seeing? Dot, 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 dot. Please tell us. 
please tell us. Oh, there's a Gengar. He's all like, yeah, isn't that a surprise? That Cyndaquil was human. Blah, 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 blah. Friggin' Gengar. I haven't even ever played this game, and I can tell Gengar's no good. That voice, it's Zatu. Zatu? Ah, oh, that's it. Telepathy. That's Alakazam. That's his voice, I decided. Zoom upwardly. Shooting star. Big ol' star. It's a meteor, dude. Come on. Call it what it is. Zatu, tell us, can the falling star be stopped? That's Alakazam's new voice. Dot dot dot. Known by few and seen by none. There you go. That's way too many takes, but you have your pick. Personally, I liked the tenth one. But Kip's like, yo, I'm in! We'll do it! Alakazam's like, yeah, duh, you're the protagonist. But are you sure? I don't know if I have any more lines at this point, so I'm just gonna wait it out. Are you sure there's no... You know, we expect danger! It's my wish that Pokemon can live in peace. Aw, oh, what a dude. Rest you should until then. Freaking Yoda up in here. Oh, shoot, I have a line. <laughs> Sorry, this is killing my throat. Last word. Dangerous will be your adventure. Dangerous will be your adventure, Master Skywalker. I'll read that normal one more time. <laughs> Mudkip's like, no problem, we'll be fine. Qua! Yeah, there's, that's your free one. I'm not reading it again. <laughs> I'm trying to save my throat. Cyndaquil's team received the teleport gem. Who could it be now? Must be bashful. Let it be. Now. This is all Alakazam lines. I'm just trying to read it for one, my own boredom, and two, so it helps you line things up. Journey will be fraught with considerable danger. Will you still go? Of course we will. We have to get Rayquaza to destroy the Falling Star, right? I don't know if Zatu has any more lines in this part. Oh, perhaps not. Because they, they're gone. They teleport. Teleport. Well, now they're at Sky Tower. I'm just going to make sure that friggin' Zatu doesn't, like, telepath instructions to them. It's been a minute since I've seen this particular scene, so... Well, this is cool. Oh, thanks, Mudkip. I'm trying my best. Where's Absol? I, I'm wondering the same thing. Be calm. Absol is safe. And they just accept that. We did it, Cyndaquil. Everything worked. It's just kind of shooting all over the place here. I should have made time markers. They end up back at the ancient place, though. So... I'm assuming there's more lines. Snubbles all like, yippee, this is the greatest. And Charizard's like, this calls for a celebration. Blastoise is like, let me shoot my hydro pump to kick it off. Well, hold on there. Don't you point those things at me, says Lombre. Face the other way, the other way. No, no, let it loose, ha ha ha, says Shiftry. And then they got white lines above their heads. Lombre's like, you gotta be kidding me. I'll secure him so he can't get away, says Octillery. Oh, not bad, said Charizard. Group hug. Wait, you're serious? No, don't. I already forget what voice I gave Lombre. Yay. <laughs> I don't know if you needed me to laugh, because that just seemed like a group laugh. Oh, hey, it's like Gardevoir. She's like coming in, and Cyndaquil's like, yo. We owe everything to you, Cyndaquil, you and your friends. See, I would have been a perfect guard of war, man. You're missing out. Peace has returned to our world. Thank you for everything. And now, Cyndaquil, your role has ended. We used you. Big time. Soon you must return to your own world. It is time to bid farewell. It's finally come. The time has finally arrived. Why does Cyndaquil sound old? I don't know. I'm not the director. Cyndaquil, I'm sorry for this. 
to everyone. Please bid farewell. Oh, Cyndaquil, says Caterpie. Mudkip's like, whoa, Cyndaquil? Your body, what's happening to you? Mudkip. And everyone. I'm sorry. But I have to leave. What? What are you saying? Everyone. Thank you for all this time. Mudkip's like, what? Leave? What do you mean leave? Make like a tree and leave my Mudkip. Rolls of Pokemon has ended. Mudkip's little, or Cyndaquil soliloquy here. Alakazam's like unbelievable. Tyranitar's like, go back to human world. Huh, why? Why? I don't understand. Why do you have to leave? Because I'm not a Pokemon, you weirdo. Oh, Mudkip's all sad. That's so sad. Oh, he's got, like, extra sparkles on his body now. Oh, he's going real soon. Don't go, Cyndaquil. I'm blessed to have met you. Hashtag blessed. Oh, poor Cyndaquil. Well, poor Mudkip, I guess. What, Zatu doesn't say Cyndaquil? It's taking everyone in that party. He's like, Cyndaquil! And Zatu's just like, I wonder what's for dinner. Now what? Well, we're still all here. Snivel Cyndaquil. Come on, Zatu's got to have, like, one more banger in this. Why was it necessary to leave us? Said Charizard. Cyndaquil saved my life, said Shiftry. But I haven't done anything to show my thanks. Left before I could even say thanks. You're right. The sudden went like that. Why now, when the world's been saved? Well, because the world's safe. It doesn't need no Cyndaquil no more, man. Come on. Everyone knows that fire starters only show up. Oh, I have a line. Cyndaquil must have become a Pokemon to save us. I mean, I've only watched like 20 minutes of this, and I can already tell you that. This scene ends at 121.55, and we're like 121.10. Any more lines out too? You got any more little nuggets of wisdom for, for the kitties back home? Why didn't Cyndaquil tell me earlier? I'm sorry, Mudkip. I didn't mean to make you cry, dude. I'm not even the one who made you cry. It was Stingin' Cyndaquil. Those fire types, am I right? How come Alakazam gets to wrap everything up? I'm the ancient. Oh, well, that's the end. Cool, let me just make sure the end. Cool, tight. All right, so that's it for Zot 2 lines. I'm pretty sure I got them all, but if I missed one, please let me know. Again, sorry it took me so long. Uh, friendly reminder, I'm not 40. My birthday is July 3rd. I'm gonna be 29, you know. That's not 40. Uh, thanks for letting me be a part of this again, man. I, I always have fun with this. Um, even if it's always an old man, I, I don't, you know, I have fun. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get you these lines, and then I'm going to get on a plane and go to a beach for a week. So, see ya. Who goes there? Who dares to trespass upon my airspace? Indeed I am. The sky is my domain. Depart at once. Never. Gah! I am a being of the sky, and you are but denizens of the ground. To each, there is a world destined as their own. For hundreds of millions of years, never once have I descended to the ground, and the opposite shall also hold true. Let there be no mercy for those that defy the laws of nature. Prepare for the end. Gah! These are shock waves, and they're huge. What is that? So that is why. Before I try, I need to know your resolve. 
the star has come too close. If I were to loose my hyperbeam here, you would not escape unscathed. Whale said, take charge of your destiny. That too is what you said when we met. It was then that you said this, to see if you were worthy to be our hero or not. You ask that we put you to the test, and only if you were found to be truly worthy, then you were to be told the truth. To fulfill your role clear of heart and mind, you then chose to erase your memory as a human, and became a Pokémon of your own will to fight alongside your friends. That is how you came to be in this world.